it's Mike and in this pet stop I want to talk about getting in front of problems um, and what I call not being snookered behind the black ball right up against the cushion or against the black ball um, I see so often in businesses where you know problems disputes um, you know disagreements happen whether that's within the team uh, within supplier and supply chain or sometimes in customers as well and all too often um, you know, it's so easy to jump onto the keyboard and exchange messages to try and resolve this. And um, ultimately, I think that's really only going to go down one way, and that's down the black hole to further confusion, further frustration, further anger uh, or, or disruption. And uh, I'm a big believer in all the businesses that uh, I've both been in and you know continue to be involved in is about what I call getting in front of the problem. And when a situation arises, yes, yeah, sure, you need to think about it and sure, you need to uh, give considered thought to it, but don't spend too much time on that. The best considered thought you're ever going to get is about speaking to people, um, getting in front of it, picking up that phone if it's a remote situation or asking that person to sit down just for a quick five minutes in a non-threatening environment, you know, just to, such as, hey, you know, let's just have a chat about this situation. And um, I usually find that if you can get in front of a problem really early on, uh, get the other person's you know, viewpoint, um, don't walk into it as a stubborn sort of point of view that, you know, this is my point of view, I'm right, and you know, my viewpoint or my objective is to change that other person's point of view. It, it, it's really just to sort of say, okay, we've both got different viewpoints. Um, it's either a miscommunication, a misunderstanding, or we've just totally both got the wrong side of this. Go into those situations looking to learn more about the other person's side uh, and try and understand that. And I think, you know, it happens quite often, doesn't it, where people just sort of, sort of go into it. This is why I'm putting my point across this way. Um, you know, my view is much rather tell me why you think it's right that way, or tell me why you, you know you're so passionate, and, 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 you know, about doing it that way. And I think if you can sort of get that uh, a lot better uh, and a lot focused to understand their side before you start pushing your side, I think you're going to really start to open your eyes. You're going to become a better leader to start with. You're going to become a better person, and you know, dare I say, you might even learn something because that other person might actually have a point and that point might be better than yours uh, or it might be more valid than yours at that point and it's not really about point scoring it's just about getting a resolution to the um, to the situation that it doesn't distract the rest of the day um, it keeps you focused on what's important and you know, what you're out there to do I see also often that people get consumed you know, there's maybe a HR issue and then you know, all the talk is just about that person and the distraction is, is, is huge. Um, or a supplier, you know, maybe they're overcharged or not. And then, you know, it's taking one, two, three people's management time out. Uh, that negative sort of per you know, perception comes in. Oh, I wouldn't buy off them. They always overcharge. Is that all that comes in? And it can be, over uh, you know, simply avoided. And of course, I'm not saying that people don't... Um, take liberties. I'm not sort of saying that people don't take uh, advantage and, and there is some just bad people out there who purposely overcharge or purposely just want to you know, set the world on fire. Uh, but I don't think that's the most of us. I think most of us um, either have misunderstandings, we have miscommunications um, and I think the best way to sort of resolve those that allows you to stay focused, allows you to stay on top of what you're meant to be doing, whether that's selling, fulfilment, managing customer service or whatever uh, and the best way to do that is get in front of it early on and start asking questions you know start asking questions you know help me understand and don't be confrontational so why do you think that is no 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 that's confrontational you know help me understand why you think that that's the best way to approach this is a better way to answer it so you're saying the same thing you're just asking it in a different way and you'll be surprised about you know the reaction that you're going to get from people you know just with those sort of more uh, relaxed informal type questions over you know dictative answers so i hope that's uh, sort of just sort of give you some food for thought in this pit stop today as always if you want to shoot me a message you know, on twitter um, you can use the hashtag the open mic or hashtag growth engine and uh, our team will uh, get that picked up uh, and we do guarantee to answer every single uh, question
question that you want to answer uh, or ask should I say um, so if you want to get those asked for us we'll help you out anytime if you want to leave a comment on the blog or the YouTube channel again that's fine let's get those uh, uh, questions uh, answered for you um, as always have a great week get in the game go do the hustle go make it happen and uh, we'll catch up with you on another pit stop real soon